Hey everyone, this is Joe Waters, and welcome to Cause Talk Radio. I am, of course, um, here with my gorgeous host, uh, Megan Strand. Hey, Megan. Hey, Joe. I'm gorgeous today. That's exciting. That's right. Thank that's you. right. Last week we were just fantabulous, <laughs> but this week we're gorgeous. You know? And um, very excited today. We have a wonderful guest, Ifti Perez, who is the community manager at Razoo.com. Hey, Ifti, how's it going? Good, good. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Hey, Ifty. So, uh, Megan, you should know that Ifty's claim to fame is that she's a Yankees fan. Oh, no. <laughs> and, she, and she dates a guy that looks like Alex Rodriguez. Wow. Yeah. And I told her already, he will never love you more than he loves himself. <laughs> so, well, I, it's early. a miracle you've let you've allowed her onto our, onto That's our right. show today, That's right. Joe. That's well, very she, big of you. Well, Thank you, you know, uh, content reigns on Cause Talk Radio. So we have to always have the right people on board uh, to talk about the things that we need to talk about. And today uh, we're going to talk about TWIV and Receive, a right. new online contest. And, and Megan, I guess today we're going to be talking all about contests. We are going to be talking all about contests. We are thrilled to have IFTI with us to talk about TWIV and Receive. And we'll also talk about the Cause Marketing Forum and AOL's Share Your Impact or Share Your Cause contest. And we'll then talk about Toyota 100 cars for good. So we have lots of contests to cover today, um, but wanted to jump right in with Ifti. Ifti, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what TWIV and Receive is, because it sounds like you are just uh, beating the bushes all across the country to put this thing together. So tell us a little bit about it. Sure. So TWIV and Receive, what it is, is a 24-hour fundraising marathon for nonprofits uh, across the nation. So the way it works is nonprofits are claiming their city. So they want to own their city and be the only one to represent their city. So uh, as long as they offer local programs in their city, they can claim it and fundraise for it and just rally their entire community behind it. So there's a lot of uh, city pride behind this, um, and a lot of nonprofits and, and cities are just popping up all over the place to to represent their community and, and fundraise for it. So is there one type of nonprofit that should be doing this to rally the community? I mean, is there a profile of a nonprofit that's particularly well suited for this contest? Uh, any nonprofit can pretty much uh, engage in it. Just, you know, it's all social media based. So you're going to be doing all your fundraising online. And a nonprofit that wants to uh, just use this as an opportunity to jump into social media fundraising can do that. Mm -hmm. um, so small nonprofits that offer um, programs for the local community that want to spread awareness and, and find potential new supporters, there are, this is a perfect venue for them. Oh, cool. So, yeah. uh, Ifty, but there is an offline component to this event, too, in May. Yes. So the event is going to happen on May 24th. So for 24 hours, um, everyone's going to be fundraising and donating online. Mm -hmm. But a lot of different leaders have uh, taken the to, to represent their different cities. So they're going to be hosting events as well. And, and these could be happy hours or other low key uh, fundraising events to get the community at, to actually even see what's going on and, and the kind of effect that their donations are having and um, how they're improving their cities through it. So there are going to be a lot of different fundraising events happening at the same time, which is pretty cool. And that's really smart, too, because, you know, it's not just about being on social media. It's not about being online. And I think it also speaks to what a lot of nonprofits are good at, too, which is the offline event component. So it really kind of boosts both thoughts for them. Right, right. How, yeah. did, how did this idea come about? So we've participated in a lot of different giving days. We've, um, for example, just last fall, we had Give to the Max Day in D.C. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of over 1,200 nonprofits came together to do the, pretty much the same thing, fundraise as a community um, for, for the local um, programs and services that they offer. So what we're doing now is just kind of expanding it so a lot of different cities, even though smaller cities can participate. So they don't, you know, have to be just major cities. They can, um, any single city can, can come and participate and do fundraising for them. Ifty, you're trying to get like 100 cities or something like that too, right? Yep, that's our goal. Yeah. Yeah. And 200,000 so raised. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And um and what what major cities have you already signed up for this including Boston, which <laughs> is being led by myself and John Hayden, the the, the dream team. Who's your benef of, who's your beneficiary or benefiting nonprofit then, Joe? Well, you know, John and I, we are going through a careful screening process right now to determine our nonprofit <laughs> because we don't want to just choose anyone because we are bent on winning this. Thing. Wow. 
me. You are. That's, this is something that's, that's a gauntlet really thrown. Yep. That's right. That's uh, right. Because Ifty is doing her work <laughs> yes, in New York City to make sure that she has a good nonprofit there and uh, there could be a rivalry here. Well, you so, know, and and now she now she has reached out to both Noland and myself over uh, in the Pacific Northwest to get involved as well. So, right. Um, so it's good that the Canadians are involved. Oh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> don't go there, Joe. So if the back to the contest and away from Joe's fantastic humor this morning, um, is there also a prize for the city that raises the most money? Yeah, the top three cities uh, get a share of thirty thousand dollars. So fifteen to the first place, uh, ten thousand to second place, and five thousand to third place. Um, so this is something in addition to whatever the nonprofit uh, fundraises. So the only thing is, there's only a two point nine percent credit card processing fee, but ninety seven point one percent of the person's donation is going to go to the nonprofit they donated to. Oh, good. Yep. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So if um, a nonprofit wants to get involved in this program, what's the next step? Or a city, I should say, would be interested in getting involved in a program like this. Yeah, which or even an individual that wants to fundraise for this city. All they need to do is just go to twivandreceive.org. So T-W-I-V-E and A-N-D, receive. Dot org And there's a registration form on the homepage. Uh, just fill it out and submit it, and we'll get in touch with you and work things out. Wow, that's great. So yeah. any uh, any proactive tips for success for competitors? So just to make sure that Joe and I are getting the same information. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, first thing I would say is sign up and as early as you can so you can start developing um, your outreach plan. Uh, you know, go to work closely with a nonprofit. Um, make sure you guys, uh, you know, get in touch and, and really reach out frequently to your donors and explain to them um, how the contests work and, and just pump them up because this is a com great community event that everybody can be a part of and everyone can feel passionate about and they can really help uh, push their community forward and see it um, on leaderboards on, on May 24th. So, mm. fantastic. Yeah, and, you know, what I love about something like this, too, is it's not um, just about shooting for a pot of money. Uh, there's a lot of, I think, education that goes into the to this. And I know one of the things that you're doing, Ifty, is you're doing weekly call calls uh, with the different cities to make sure that they're on track and to give them advice and education and stuff like yep. that. So I think this is a great model uh, for a cause marketing contest. Absolutely. So people can find you at Twiv and Receive. What about you personally, Ifty? We like to tell our listeners where they can find our hosts. Where would they find you? Uh, they can find me on Twitter. Uh, my handle is Ifty Perez, I F as in Frank, D as in David, Y Perez. Excellent. And they can ask me any sort of question there. I'll definitely help them out. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much for joining us today. And we will put all of these fabulous links in the show notes, of course, so people can find you. And we will okay. look forward to the competition. All right. Thanks for having me, guys. Take care. Thanks, Ifty. You guys. Bye. Wow, that sounds like a great program. Absolutely. I'm really excited. Um, I'm excited to compete in yes. against you, against the likes right. of you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's a, it's like an international competition now that we have Canada involved. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> Just because you don't like to travel further than Cambridge. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's a New Englanders view of the world. It is. This is, you know, this every is very day true. outside is like, <laughs> it's either Canada or Mexico. It's like, it, it's, it's like Georgia. It's in Mexico. You know I, mean? <laughs> I mean, it's different in that regard. So. I forgot about the New Englanders map of the world. Thank you for that's reminding right. that's, me. That's um, well, the other contest we wanted to talk about today that's happening right now is um, one that I think is a really strong cause marketing contest in general. It's the Toyota 100 Cars for Good program. Um, and applications opened on March 12th, and they will op stay open until March 26th or when they get 5,000 applicants. Um, so this is a great contest because... Toyota gives away 100 cars, they pick 500 finalists, and then every week wow. on their Facebook page, they put up five of those finalists. And those finalists have videos that they have up, and it turns into kind of a mini voting contest every week between these five nonprofits. Mm -hmm. And then the winning nonprofit each week gets a Toyota car, um, and then they get a, I, I believe it comes with a six-year service guarantee as well, which is quite mm -hmm. fantastic. 
No, no, that's um, good. So the a lot of the action then happens on the Toyota Facebook page. Absolutely, which is really smart uh, from a brand perspective is. because yeah. they're giving these away every week. And so that's tons and tons of traffic that's heading toward Toyota. Right. Yeah. Um, right. And then just from the nonprofit perspective as well, you know, it's nice because you, you see these nonprofits that are a lot smaller mm -hmm. um, that are able to win these cars and really activate their community in a way that they hadn't in the past. And then even if they don't win, but they're picked as a finalist, they get a $1,000 grant. So mm -hmm. that's pretty cool on Toyota Zen to be able to incent them that way. And then as we talked about last week with um, Jeff Livingston and actually a little bit today with IFTI, mm -hmm. you know, Toyota, I think, does a pretty good job um, working with their nonprofit finalists to just help them activate their community, you know, tips on doing their videos. They give them Facebook pre credits so they can advertise on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's kind of a neat it's kind of a neat program. And I think that's what we talked about last week, that it, it, part of the success of these programs comes down to really offering some decent training uh, to, to nonprofits who might yeah, not otherwise get that's it. That's right. That, that's what it's all about. I mean, you know, that's the challenge I've had with contests in the past in the sense like if it means that a nonprofit has to set, be set, set aside their valuable work and a lot of the other things that may lead to that pot of gold so that they can, you know, basically reinvent the wheel in learn how to participate in these contests in a successful way, that's really challenging for a nonprofit. That's when I have a problem with nonprofits being involved in these things. But, you know, when there is uh, good money on the line, but there's also education included in it so that people can make a connection and, and it be a real opportunity, I think that's great. I think it's fantastic too. But you know what I think they need to do a little bit better job with is – sharing that information ahead of time with the people that might be applying. So with a hundred uh, Toyota, 100 carts for good, this is the second year they're doing it. So right. people are starting to get word that this is happening, that there are right. some resources provided. But I think in a lot of these contests, how do you know, you know, how do you know yeah. if you activate your entire community and mobilize your whole community and you have zero support mm -hmm. or if you're going to get a lot of support from whomever's hosting the contest? I mean, I think that's probably something they could do a little bit better job just communicating from the beginning. Yeah, no, I think that's a great point. And, you know, I think one of the importance with the Toyota contest, too, is we should definitely uh, register Cause Talk Radio as a 501c3. <laughs> <laughs> because we need a car we, so you can travel outside of Boston. That's right. So we can, can travel go to Mexico back and, and Canada. forth to do our radio show. I mean, it's a perfect <laughs> opportunity. And uh, so I think we're going to have to apply. I think we should. I Not think we this should. year, but maybe next year. Maybe next year. Yeah, when, yeah. We're, when we've hit the big times. That's right. I like that. So now what we'd like to talk about is the AOL Impact Share Your Cause contest that is co-sponsored with the Cause Marketing Forum. And this is, of course, a contest that's near and dear to my heart. And we are excited today to have Sherry Wood, who is the founder of One Warm Coat, with us. Hi, Sherry. Hello, Megan. And the reason we have Sherry with us is because she won this contest last year. So wow. kudos to her. I know it's a big deal. So just briefly for our listeners, um, this contest is a is a chance for causes to share their message with 13 million people on AOL's homepage. Um, and also this year, we're adding AOL's mail sign-in page. So it's a huge exposure. AOL Impact does this on a regular basis, but this is an opportunity for causes to apply to have a spot on the AOL homepage. Um, and unlike other contests that we've talked about where we're asking nonprofits to kind of leverage their community to get involved, we're really just asking nonprofits a question about how they would leverage and use this exposure. So Sherry did an exceptional job doing that last year. So Sherry, could you tell us a little bit about, it? I guess, first of all, why you applied for the contest you guys see contests a dime a dozen as a nonprofit. so what about this contest was interesting to you you're right uh, contests come and go and and we can't spend the time on it um aol is near and dear to my heart uh, i still have my aol sign in name so wow <laughs> I, i've got my name i can't get it on any other uh mail provider so <laughs> so i know the value of aol uh, I'm, I'm one of those, um, I think I probably hit the marketplace, uh, not too tech savvy. It's easy. Uh, and so I felt we wanted to reach that AOL user. Excellent. And so from uh, what we did ask people to do was just submit uh, an essay really about how they would leverage this, this message. So what, what was it that you shared? Do you remember what your message was? And well, our, just uh, our message is always very simple because we pretty much have one one call. Uh, please look in your closet and see if you have a coat. Um, we wanted to tie 
if we won, we wanted to tie it in with our kickoff of our Warm Coats and Warm Hearts campaign, which is our campaign that Good Morning America um, sponsors. So we wanted to kind of get everybody excited on another media channel. We wanted to see how the online experience might support our television experience. Fantastic. And I think one of the impressive things about your application was that you mentioned that all of your partners have baseline measurements for the last four years. So you'd really be able to see what the impact of this um, AOL exposure would give to you. So can you share, are you, are you comfortable sharing with our listeners what the impact was after being featured on AOL? I, it, it, I'm blushing. Uh, we, we will share a little bit. Okay. Uh, but uh, I will tell you that um, our Good Morning America ABC um, partners were surprised to see that the activity on our website was almost 50% larger from the AOL Daily Impact than from the opening uh, on Good Morning America. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. And so then people had a chance to take a look at what we were doing. You know, it's one thing to watch on TV and hear the name and, and maybe feel it, but to grab people from the website, have them take a look at, at our materials and see what we were all about uh, was great. Our bounce rate was uh, phenomenal. People stayed on our site and learned more about us than any other time oh, that's uh, great. during the year. So we were very, very pleased with winning the AOL Daily Impact. Awesome. So, so Sherry, tell me something. If you were a nonprofit and you were looking for a contest, because there are so many different contests out there, I mean, you're the third one we've talked about today. What would some of the guidelines you would say in your head as a nonprofit? You would be like, I would get into contests that have these qualities or these attributes. And, uh, you know, because I think that's great advice for nonprofits. Well, in, in your book, uh, there was a time, Joe, when I was reading your book, just shaking my head trying to figure out how we could win some of the vote for me contests. <laughs> yep. Way, way, way too much time uh, for our small staff. Yep. And, and we didn't, we didn't want to annoy our, our, our viewers, our readers. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that I wouldn't do. And, and that's my biggest piece of advice is um, don't spend valuable resources um, when you're, you're competing against people who, who have a bigger team. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, I think that something like that is really key to know when you really have a good shot at something. In a lot of ways, it's like evaluating any other fundraising opportunity, especially in the grant sector. Like, you know, you look at a grant, you look at the guidelines, you look at the opportunity, and you really got to say to yourself, is this something we want to commit staff time to? I think it's the same with a contest. Absolutely. And one of the things that Joe and I have been talking about um, previously on the show and actually in past shows as well is it really is helpful, um, you know, particularly in these voting campaigns or any of these contests, if your whoever's supporting the contest can give some guidance to the nonprofit organization and uh, potentially some training. Like, for example, in the Toyota 100 Cars for Good, they give the nonprofits Facebook advertising to use. They give them some guidelines about how to create a, a, an effective video. So it's, you know, I, I think there's some value you to be had there from a nonprofit perspective if that host of the contest is really offering some helpful advice to the nonprofit organization. That's great because um, we all get excited when we think we can win something. So how nice that Toyota is, is providing tools so that you might have a chance to win. Exactly, exactly. Absolutely. Well, that's fantastic. Well, Sherry, thank you so much for sharing your experience with us. We always like to tell our listeners where they can find out more about you. So where, where would they find out more about you and One Warm Coat? At onewarmcoat.org. Uh, and the one is written out, O-N-E, but... We're, we're kind of going silent. It's spring and summer, and we, 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 we turn off and, and uh, clean our own closets, but we'll be back in the fall with some very exciting uh, campaigns. Fantastic. And Thanks, Joe, Megan. Joe, Thanks, where, Joe, where can people find you? Well, people can always find me, uh, Megan, at joe at selfishgiving.com, and of course my blog, selfishgiving.com, and they can find me on Twitter most of the time, at Joe Waters. Fantastic. Um, and I can be found at causeupdate.com and at meganstrand.com. And you can find Cause Talk Radio and all the other rashpixel.tv shows on iTunes. So please subscribe to our show on iTunes so you do not miss an episode. And you can also find us on Stitcher Smart Radio, which 
which you can find in your app store or at stitcher.com. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. Thank you.